Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and there's talk about um, something that we talked about yesterday, but a different question that came today. So yesterday we talked about mod the uh, wire the routers and uh, the fact that you know different generations of Wi-Fi exist and so on, and uh, we talked about the fact that the security of these devices come in the form of updates that they have. So today somebody asked about how the security of a modem that you would be, you know, plugged in directly. A lot of people do use, um, you know, to have their modems from the internet service provider and are plugged in directly with an Ethernet cable. And of course, here comes the question of, well, is there, you know, what about security? Remember that the security doesn't have to do much with the fact that a router is wireless or not. Uh, it really is about the fact that a router has a lot of um, settings that can be redirected and changed through firmware. The modems are simpler and the way that they work. In general, they take in a signal. Uh, if it's a cable modem, they'll take in a signal in a certain frequency range and that will be transformed into data and the same with fiber optic and so on. Do modems um, require updates? Yes, they do, as much as uh, routers have updates. Modems typically do need updates, but the difference with modems is that they are designed, most of them are designed to the fact that because they are connected directly to the ISP, they can get their updates directly also meaning that at night, a lot of modems might restart just for a brief instant to update its firmware, uh, depending on how often they release firmware. And that's because routers are also vulnerable to attacks and being hacked into, into a way to uh, change your traffic, for example, change where you're going, send you to fake web pages that might look like the real one, but uh, trying to get phishing attempts to that. Um, even snoop on the data that's in and out. So for the most part, modems are updated automatically. Unlike routers, a lot of routers, unfortunately, you have to you know do it manually. Um, there are some that are well-designed and do it automatically, but for most part, uh, it's a manual update that you have to do. In modems, it's automatic for the most part, and it's your ISP that actually will guarantee this. In general, your ISP will technically and should technically guarantee the security of your device, which means even if your modem's old and would not get updates anymore, your internet service provider should know if that particular model is um, a problem for security. And if so, they should be technically offering you to change it with something that is, um, you know, newer. One thing that I always did personally when I was um, connected with um, a modem directly was from you know, like every few years, tell the internet service provider that I wanted to change my modem. Uh, why? Because newer modems have, like routers, newer protocols connect better to the network, connect better to the overall system of your internet service provider. So that is better with your newer technology. If you're connected directly with Ethernet, well, a newer modem might connect better, faster than an older one. And, of course, there's a security aspect of it. Um, unfortunately, a lot of ISPs refuse to uh, exchange or change the modem when it's still working. So sometimes you got to lie. What I would do is just tell the ISP that the modem didn't work anymore. Uh, and that usually was enough for me to get a new one. But um, you shouldn't hang on to old modems. If you have a really old modem, you know, just call your ISP and say that you do want to have something newer because you do want to have and make sure that you're secure. Even if they tell you that you are um, you know, newer is better if, if it's included with your, um, you know, uh, ISP. Well, why not change it? If it's something you have to buy, that's a different story. You might want to hang on to it um, for a longer time because, of course, you got to pay every time you got a new one. 
But um, like routers, um, modems do need to be changed from time to time. I would probably follow the same kind of rule as routers. If it's more than five years old, it's time to change. And um, remember that, yep, security is also, security updates are also important in modems. But they are done automatically most of the time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.